what's up? Uh, today we're gonna do a repair on a HP Pavilion M7 notebook. Now my camera's kind of bootleg, so I apologize. My other camera was stolen because uh, when you live in the ghetto, that's what happens. Dirt bags and douche bags and less than reputable characters decide to uh, make your stuff theirs. So anyway, I'm gonna do this with my digital camera. Anyway, I looked online to try to do one of these or to find a video for it. And uh, there weren't any videos for this particular repair. It's for the keyboard, which I figured it would be, but I guess there wasn't. Anyway, uh, this keyboard, as you can see, is kind of hooded. It's got a bunch of uh, buttons that aren't working and everything. Everything else on the computer is uh, works great. It's just a lame keyboard. So anyway, uh, basically, this is a pretty simple repair. I suggest you get you a separator like this. Uh, not on this repair, because this one you just remove two screws, but generally, like we have one that marks each one, just makes it easy for you, so you don't get them all mixed up, because it's always good to put the screws back where they go. There's just uh, two screws from what I can see. You can see the little logo for the keyboard, and then there's also another screw in here in this hole, where you can see it. Now mine, I guess it's missing, the screw's missing, they're damaged, I'm not sure. But anyway, those are just the two uh, screws that are holding it in. So basically, now it's gonna lift. Um, there's little teeth under here, across the bottom. And so basically it shoves in this way, and then you can lift it up. Now, over here there was a fry spot, it's a little busted. And so uh, I just pried under there and popped that, because it broke anyway, so and it wouldn't come up, so I had to pop it loose. So now it's popped loose, you can see how it comes out of the little teeth on each side. And uh, this one will fold, actually, well, it's already loose, okay. Let's see, so you see here you have the flex cable. Now, this one is missing, this keyboard here doesn't even come with the eliminating uh, feature. Now, you can see here which is held by this little strip here. Now it's got the little hinge door on it to hold it in place. And it's got the little sliding bracket for the eliminating strip too. So that's the old keyboard. It's busted, dusted, no good. And this is the new keyboard that we're gonna be putting on to the M7. Now this one, the difference on this one and the busted one, it comes with the extra uh, strip here for, I guess, the illumination that will go into that hole right there. So I'm just gonna connect these real fast and then I'll, sh I'll get it closed up. All right, I gotta install both little pieces. Now the big one wasn't a problem, laid right down and popped in place. This little bastard there, the tiny one, it was a bitch. Um, there's even a little tear on the side of it, so they sent me basically a, a keyboard with a tore little strip on the side, so hopefully that's not gonna cause a problem. But uh, yeah, it was really annoying. So I don't even know if that thing, I'm hoping that it's in flush. It looks like it is and it felt like it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it, and get the keyboard laid down and just check it out and see if it's working. Once you have these locked in, be careful. There's not a lot of leeway like, or give, whatever. So you want to uh, put these teeth back down in the slots and then just lay it down. So you can just kind of see, you can see the little slots over they go. Again, I'm doing this with one hand because there's no one here to do the camera for me. So let's go ahead and lay this down. I got the keyboard in place. It's everything's locked down flush all the way around. I had to make sure just to run my finger around it gently to uh, make sure everything snaps in place. It's looking good. So now I just gotta flip it over and put the keyboard screw back in. So let me do that real fast. All right, we got the keyboard screw back in. Everything else is back where it goes. Let me flip this back over and power it up and let's see if it works. All right, so I got it powered back up and uh, everything seems to be working. All the keys are responding. So as far as I can tell, it's responding, but the only bad thing is, is that the, uh, the illumination on the keyboard is not working. You see here the F5, there's a little logo for it, and it's not responding. So that tear on the fiber cable, whatever it is, it apparently damaged it, so uh, they're gonna be sending me a new one. But yeah, everything's working, so that's pretty much it. And 
you have any questions or you want to yell at me or whatever, just uh, feel free to leave me a message. All right.